as long as you have plan to come to ethiopia this is you must watch this video and no gay no lesbian in ethiopia something which are illegal maybe in your country it's legal especially let me say like smoking weed money currencies so inside here in ethiopia of course you need to use bill your pocket try to steal your phone or the money so not those three don't let anyone get close to you hi beautiful people hope you are doing good hope everything is good with you i'm good too uh i just like this is a beautiful beautiful morning we just woke up here so hope you are doing good today we have interesting interesting topic to talk about you need to know like as a foreigner before you travel to ethiopia so i've been like can i talk about that or what so I'm, i've been thinking about it and i'm ready to talk about it today so i have um i have a list here guys with things like that like what you need to know you must know which is like harsh but the truth guys harsh but the truth i think the first thing i need to talk about is about your security guys especially many people had many things about ethiopia the security the safety stuff like that so let me try to talk about that i i think like every foreigners like all every ethiopian who have been not living here for a long time you need to know this this 10 things i'm going to mention so the security situation the security you get what i'm saying okay so when i'm saying the security guy guys what you need to know about the security you know like uh here in ethiopia usually border closed anytime without you knowing you may be maybe planning to come with a bus from kenya from somalia from south sudan but you find out the border is closed you may be planning to go maybe to this uh, place like no uh, like any place you want to go so you find out it's not safe so what i can advise to you guys know that no uh, trying to find information of, of the place where you want to go and you make sure that it's safe because the good thing when it, there is a problem you find it it's easy to find it on google on uh, like news try to, to connect with someone who is in ethiopia ask them have like uh trustworthy information because you need that you may go and you find out it's not safe like many places now in ethiopia it's better to to travel there with, with a plane with a plane so you can't go with the bus because it's not safe so uh yeah that's how it is just do your do deeper research about the place where you want to visit make sure that you can visit that time because today it may be good tomorrow they close they change it's not safe so that's the most potent especially for foreigners who don't understand the uh, language and who don't know the country just try try to connect with someone and make sure like the place you want to visit is safe either you can ask the hotel where you are staying the good thing people will tell the truth you can ask the hotel where you are staying you can ask like a tour guide who is helping you out you can ask you can ask anyone i think anyone you can ask they will tell the truth so you know like where to go where not to go i think that's what many people wanted me to talk about because i start with it also and that's the first one another thing either you come to ethiopia make sure you need you have your visa ready if they say like you need to do eta electronic visa do it don't be like oh it's just africa i will go in no you will not go in this is ethiopia they follow rules they don't joke with rules and regulation so what i saw i met some guy he was from canada but they were like you supposed to um i think they were saying he's supposed to do, use a electronic visa he is supposed to fill the form online and he didn't feel he seated there until he failed and they test him to proceed then he go in so you need to know about your visa and make sure like you have all documents you need here so you don't stuck in airport so if you come and uh, if your visa is on live or like me you need to be ready with money to pay of course and you have to have number of someone who you know if it's not someone you know it must be the hotel or uh, like where you are staying stuff like that so they need to know that information so always if you are staying in a hotel everything bring their number they will ask you in the process 
when they're giving you visa so i think it's it's important to know guys it's very very important to know so that's the second point the the third point it's like you need to know like um okay okay oh, okay so um yeah if you want to you should you should comply with law of course including carrying identification and document everywhere you go now we are talking when you're already inside the ethiopia oh uh, yeah inside of ethiopia what you have to do you have to go everywhere with your passport or identification with your papers because you never know so they don't ask every day but you know you never know when they ask you don't have it it will be hard to explain especially because there is language barrier so always go with your document guys you know that yeah i think if you travel a lot you know you need to go with uh, your document everywhere you go you never know you know you may go somewhere i know okay i know a story guys so uh i know a guy they took him after like after he left his house two two minutes or three minutes he was like uh, he had a visitor so he go with them then when he's coming back the police stopped uh, him like where's your document it's in my house like no 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 how come you go without doc your document your identification he's like okay my house is there he was like showing them my house is there please let me go and show them like the police is not going to go with you in your house you know they have many things to do sometime or you know so be careful i advise you like always go with identification know that especially when you are foreigners because the police can catch you and you don't speak the language so it will be even hard to explain because you don't know amharic so that the you need to know that before coming here just go anywhere you go with a id or passport or whatever you use go with it yeah and other things i feel like you need to know uh if you don't follow we were, we were talking about the laws so if you don't follow the rules and regulation here my dear and they catch you in something illegal you must first things you must do you must find someone to defend you in a court of law because if you don't do that i swear to you you will go to prison so this is serious so when you do something or they think you do something and you see it's getting serious just find someone to defend you find the lawyer stuff like that because i saw some people who in like neglecting that and they <clears throat> So always, if you find yourself in a problem, try to find a lawyer, try to con contact your embassy, try to contact someone who can come and explain stuff. And if you know you are in fault, of course, you need a lawyer. So so be careful and be careful with the people you, ha you hang with. And again, know like what you have to do and what you don't have to do. Here in Ethiopia, there's something which I did go maybe in your country. It's legal, especially, let me say, like smoking weed. And many countries, especially West and uh, America and the Canada, and maybe Australia, I'm not sure, but they are, you guys, you're allowed to smoke weed everywhere. So in Ethiopia, which we are talking about, it's not allowed to smoke weed. It's not allowed to go around smoking weed. So it's illegal, guys. So and i i advise you before you visit country you know like which is legal which is illegal which is legal and legal so in your country it may be illegal but here it's illegal so be careful because if they catch you you understand there is uh rules to follow so be careful with that respect each country like rules and regulation because they will not care for who you are where you are from trust me they will not care so you need to know that also especially when you're foreigners the reason why i'm saying especially when you're foreigners i believe like ethiopian knows even if they can do it they know the uh, consequences but maybe some foreigners they may not know so that's why i'm telling you so uh yeah that's what i'm telling you so you need to be like extra careful so other things you must consider when you travel to ethiopia it's about money currencies so inside here in ethiopia of course you need money currencies so inside here in ethiopia of course you need to use bill ethiopian bill so you must use bill because it's the only money work 
you can't pay with dollar anywhere maybe if you are staying in international uh, uh hotel you may use your card maybe i don't know if they receive money for that i'm not sure but going around take to, taking uber going to um to the restaurant going to the beautiful place to visit whatever you want to do it's like you pay in bill you know it's not allowed to use another currency here maybe some people they may say oh we can take it but you know that it's legal if they catch you they will be punishment so be careful know that be careful and especially when you are working and you are foreigner and people can see they say dollar dollar so don't go to change your money on black market you know why because like first of all black market and bank it's almost the same now and the second thing it's illegal you may get into the problem so go to the bank what you need to go to the bank you need to go with your passport you need to go with the, your money then they will change it easy easy like that ethiopia is not maybe like before you you know now it's easy like that so don't put yourself in trouble because you want to go to black market don't do that because the the difference is almost nothing my dear it doesn't worth your life and any problem you can face there so be careful yeah so that's that's the thing i can talk about and other thing you, you can talk about uh be careful when you're taking photo it's illegal to photograph the presidential place military seat and military person yeah guys uh we i was with my friend Fetty vlog too she's also a youtuber when subscribe to her channel so we were in awasa and we were we had the story the way the guy was uh filming and it was really hard so when you are vlogger or you're not even vlogger you're not even influencer or whatever but you you want to take some picture you know when all of us uh, some of us when we travel want to take memories we want to take some video of beautiful things so if you do that make sure the place you do it it's not military house or military place it's not presidential place it's not you don't take a, you don't put in any police or military inside your picture because it's not allowed be careful with that so you need to know stuff like that it's like the things you need to know even before you come before you pass as long as you have plan to come to ethiopia this is you must watch this video and find out and be careful about that because hmm so uh other things you need to know is like for me i did research it's here so i, I i'm like up, they just updated new rules here in uh, 2024 in july so 15 july so it's current news i'm giving you that's why i didn't want to give you anything i wanted to do research and make sure that i'm giving you something real so same sex sexual acts are illegal if you find guilty you could face up to 15 years imprisonment no no gay no lesbian in ethiopia can i repeat no gay no lesbian in ethiopia if you find they found you guilty you may face up to 15 years that means you can even go further 15 years in prison you go in prison they don't care my dear just know that so like it's not even about the government many people they don't like those things they feel like mm, because Ethiopia is this country which they have they still have deep deep courage and tradition so if you do these things okay I, I love the way they say same sex sexual act are illegal same sex so you may be lesbian you may be a gay but you come to ethiopia you are not planning to do anything yeah i think you can come because they say uh, you don't do it here in ethiopia because when you they found out you know what even the hotel whatever they can find you out so be careful be extra careful because trust me this country follow rules if they say it's illegal then it's illegal know that so be careful uh yeah try to know if you are like that so it's really really nice to know so about uh i can see they say many things and uh, other things okay so if you are driving i love this one if you are driving on the road and you have accident don't move your car before the police get there because if you move it's legal to do so 
let me say the way they say it. If you are in the road accident, if you are in the road accident, don't move your vehicle before a police officer arrives. It's illegal to do so. Like, don't move, just stay there. Because you may move and they say whatever they want. So stay there and the police come and measure, they measure, then they will tell you what to do. So don't move. That's for foreigners. Don't move. So know that. I think even for Ethiopia who don't know, or even for Ethiopian diaspora who've been living out of Ethiopia for a long time. So know that don't move when you there is an accident. Even if, if it's you who cause it or other person, just stay there until the police come. So understand and follow local laws it's illegal to buy or remove uh okay let me tell you things i know like you you can see beautiful stone here in ethiopia don't move them you can see the image like on the wall on the street don't move them it's illegal to move them so it's like that's what they're saying here so i what i know I know a guy who tried to take like then like you can walk on the street you see the beautiful beautiful stone uh that was a beautiful white stone and he tried to touch it trust me it was a problem the good thing they they say oh i didn't know i'm foreigners and they let him go so be careful don't take something which is not yours even if you find it beautiful just take picture memory then that's it don't take anything and you know there's some people like that don't do that again don't do that because it's not like mm, 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 mm. so other thing they say this is the this ethiopia just give out a pretty crime particular people cating in common addis however foreigners may be targeted so uh like snatching something or trying to steal your phone the money from your pocket yeah that's very very common here uh i think in addis i never saw it out of addis uh but you need to be careful i don't think ethiopia is so dangerous it's not dangerous at all i think every country have people like that but in ethiopia of course they have people like that especially when you are pressed like my when you are impressed like my cattle like the the mexico where it's crowded everywhere it's crowded someone can see you you are maybe like um distracted they try to take your phone the money stuff like that sometimes if you take those uh, uh ride without any app you sometimes they can just steal from you you so many story so it's not even about foreigner of course when you are foreigner it's easy for them but even if you are not foreigners and they see you are distracted or they like they have target of course they will steal from you so what i advise you if you are foreigners or if you are anyone who go out or anyone who, are, who have been living out of addis or ethiopia just take care of your things know where to go the time to go like when i'm with my friend fit sometimes there's a route we can't use so no like th those things like no like if it's night it's better to not to use this way use this way and if you have your phone and stuff don't put it back at your back put it in front you see how we wear our bags so especially when you are somewhere crowded especially when you love to take when you want to experience the train or the bus sometimes when you are crowded you are like so like this some people they just come inside to steal so be careful of course you need to be careful i think when you are careful you are okay to go in this country that's what i think so um and again sometimes uh people they can come like they want to talk to you or they want to beg so they distract you one is touching here the one is touching here the one is touching in your pocket try to steal your phone or the money so not those street don't let anyone get your pocket try to steal your phone or the money so not those street don't let anyone get close to you if you want to talk to someone if you want to help someone do it but don't let them come and touching you stuff like that so be careful and when you are taking ride and to go home or to go partying or to go visiting some place or someone just use the ride with application i can tell you with application it's safe so far for me i never faced any problem i never had any problem but there is a time they tell you oh app is not working because it's nice don't do that whatever you can pay what to how much money he wants but try to get his information 
so i think you should be careful about that otherwise you are going to come and enjoy ethiopia otherwise ethiopia is beautiful country so of course i believe every country need major you need to know you need to know this extra careful be careful with things i told you guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like it uh please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you have any problem if you have anything you want to share with me you're welcome to do it you can do it through my instagram which is it's noella and i will put i will be putting my email soon for the people who want to collaborate want to uh uh in business whatever you want i will just try to put the email there so uh otherwise may god bless you i love you may god take care of you always we'll see you next one bye